fun. Adds a lot of fun to the uh, entrance to my room. Here's the tea, you guys. I filmed an intro for this video too many times, okay? I was having a bad face day the first time. Didn't enjoy that. I felt really, like, I felt like my skin tone was very red in another video. Botched that. So the moral of the story is I'm coming onto my <laughs> photo booth on my laptop just to tell you that I am back at college. And um, essentially I decided to move in last minute and I just wanted to film a dorm tour video. That's really, I don't know why I was just being so weird in all of the intro videos. It seems a lot more personal this way um, and a better explanation. And I seem more normal instead of like staged and stuff. This video is just a dorm tour of my room and my area. For context, um, I am living in a single that's meant to be a double, meaning that I have double of everything in terms of like bed, desk, drawer, dresser, closet. I get double of everything. And my decision, I talked a bit more about it in my podcast episode, Everything by Ava, go check it out. I decided to do that just because between being last minute and also because COVID is still very real and rampant, I wanted to make sure that I, I like being in control. So I wanted to make sure that like immediately in my room, who I would be living with every day, um, it just scared me. I don't know. I just chose to live by myself, okay? And I'm very happy with the decision. This is a sneak peek of my room, but anyways, that's what this video is going to be about. I don't know why I was just being so weird about it. And I also feel like I look better here, so it all works out at the end anyways. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the official room tour. I will be narrating the whole thing this way. It's a little bit funner this way. We first walk in, you see this really cool curtain. We'll get back to her. On the right side, we have my little fun mirror. I call it a fun mirror because it doesn't hang properly and it makes me look wider than I am. So I always have a morning dilemma. I have to remind myself it's the mirror, not me. Anyways, we digress. <laughs> Moving on, I share a bathroom with a suite mate, but I have my own sink. Now, if you first look at this rug, I love it because it can be a British rug. Hello. And also, hello. <laughs> I thought that joke was funny. We're going to ignore that. I really like this bathroom setup I have going on because it really feels um, like I'm bad and bougie and we love it. And then there's my plant, Megan the Succulent. I love this mirror more than I love the full length mirror. Something about it just being so big and whatever makes for a very fun time. Thank you for sharing, Ava. Moving on from my little bathroom setup, we're gonna look over to my closets now. Because I live alone, I get to use both of them, which means a lot of room. In the first closet space, we have all of my outdoor coats, cleaning supplies, gym equipment. Basically, what needs to be thrown in there will be put in there. Those are my to-go shoes, like ones I have to grab in a hurry. That is my laundry detergent, and that is my gym bag. All things ready to go right at the door. Moving on to the second closet, this is where I keep all of the clothes that are required hanging. We're talking jeans, we're talking dresses, we're talking fun sweaters. And everything, there's plenty of space and everything's set up quite nicely. On the bottom we have my hamper, because you gotta put the dirty clothes somewhere, folks. Starting up top we have accessories, we have sheets, and then we have extra bags. And then my one singular belt that needs to be hung. And my favorite bathrobe of all time from Target. She's incredible. I have a matching one with a friend. I highly recommend it. So nice. Moving aside from this closet, we have this awesome setup. I got this male hook carrier from Marshalls. Very last minute decision, but I'm absolutely obsessed because I get to hang all of the necessities. We're talking umbrella, keys, all of the masks, because that's the most important. And my dad sends me letters every week, so I get to keep them there in their safe spot. And then we have my purse, and it's really good to just have somewhere to hang it because it makes it not as awkward. Now to my favorite part of my room is this incredible curtain. It adds color, it adds pizzazz. And when you enter in, you just feel like you're in a brand new room. Now here's the aerial view of the left side of my room. First we have, not necessarily a station, but that's just a metal vent thing where I keep different notes on. But most importantly, we have the coffee station. This coffee poster is from Amazon, I love it. It just adds a little something to the station. I brought eight mugs with me. 
beyond aggressive, but I like my mugs and we rotate. On the second side, we have my family, we have little trinkets, my ring light because you know, YouTuber, and some fun posters to add some color to the room. Now these stations are on top of two dressers. Normally you have one, but I get the luxury of having two, which is great because I brought a lot of clothes. Moving on to my first desk is my vanity setup. Now I have a lot of these pieces reused from last year which is great because it meant that i didn't have to spend that much money i also recommend getting a reed diffuser most dorms don't allow candles so that's a great alternative this is my favorite mug and one of my favorite gifts ever my best friend maid gave it to me it's just a little cup with different cats on it and it makes for a nice little setup now that's just extra stuff that i have in my desk and finally we have my favorite setup which is a map with pictures of all my favorite people moving on to my bed all reused pieces from last year. We got the lovely camel llama situation going on and I just love the color orange. Never thought that'd be a dorm room color, but it's so, so fun. Underneath the bed, we have a little shoe rack from Marshall just demonstrating and showcasing all of my wonderful shoes that I try and move in and out of rotation. Here's the kitchen setup. Is it sad? Sure. Do we like it? Absolutely. Here's a three-tiered cart from Marshall's. I love it. It just keeps all of my utilities for the kitchen right there. I recommend getting a dish rack to put all of your dirty dishes, and I put it on top of this three-tiered thing from Target where I keep my snacks. And this is also from Marshall's. Orange matches the vibe of the room, and I just keep different knickknacks in there related to the kitchen stuff. There's my fridge. That was a horror of a story to move in. But this is my second desk, which is my work setup. My favorite calendar. I love having something there just to liven it up. That's a painting my best friend gave me for Christmas next to my weekly schedule. I love setting it up that way. And this is my little lamp I also got from Target, and I'm a big fan of her. And you see the llama there? We love the coordination of the theme throughout the room. And we're not going to talk about how messy this is just know I don't care about it that much to keep it organized. Now moving on to the coolest aspect of the room is the day bed. I get two beds so we're gonna make one of them a day bed. I have 15 pillows in my room. On this bed alone I think there's eight. Is it aggressive? Sure but look at the color. Look at the spunk. I love just sitting there during the day. It's so much fun and also the pink rug. Just a little something to tie the whole room together. Lastly we end with the chest of my sweatshirts with the little Massachusetts home pillow that I got from Marshalls and this is just a cute little hanging piece that brings the whole room together speaker fake plants and a mason jar with notes of every memory from each day and my favorite part of the day now the key to having a room that you love especially for a dorm room is finding pieces that are true to you that coincide with each other and all around making a place that makes you feel comfortable makes you feel happy it makes you feel like you have a little bit of home no matter how far away you are and that, my friends, is my sophomore year college dorm tour. I hope you enjoyed. And that's the end of my video, folks. Um, really simple, short to the point. I just wanted to make this video for keepsake and also just to show you guys where I'm currently at. Um, I know I get like an average of 30 views on this, these videos, so um, it's really not the too, too much of an end of the world situation, but I just wanted to make something. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you're having a great day. If you wanna just stick around and follow what I'm up to, I am, my top platforms that I use all the time are Instagram and TikTok, which, my profiles are linked down below if you want to catch up on some of my old videos. I don't have too many, but I'm trying to put out some more stuff. And as always, I have a website and a podcast. The podcast, I uploaded two episodes this past week. So you got some, you know, extra info and stuff to listen to later on. And that's really about it. I'm feeling really inspired right now. There's a lot going on at school and other areas of my life. But I'm really trying to hone in on building this channel building my podcast building my brand so with all of that together i think we have a pretty solid setup for the rest of 2021 that being said hope you have a wonderful day thank you for watching and i'll talk to you soon oh all right i guess we got some extra electricity over here